Hey everybody, good morning. Uh, we woke up very early this morning. We're staying in an Airbnb out of the Highway 3 in the South Shores, Nova Scotia. I apologize for the noise because uh, the highway is right behind me. However, I uh, we got across this magnificent structure. And I know, as I said many times, it's, it's not my thing to photograph man-made objects, have them included in the picture, but sometimes you come through uh, some subject matters that there's no way to uh, to avoid it. Uh, this mill, that's what it is, uh, belongs to uh, Sherman Hines. If you don't know who Sherman Hines is, it's a quite famous photographer here in Nova Scotia. The guy is uh, literally a legend. I'm going to leave... Um, a comment on the description so you guys uh, get a little bit of uh, cultural information in the area. Uh, the river, uh, if you can see, the wheel of the mill is very, very far away from the water. So I guess that all this magnificent rocky area, it gets filled with water at some point. Uh, it just gives you an idea how high the water normally gets here and how low it is right now if you look at the river is extremely low. Taking a look to the other side. So this one is an affluent that connects to a uh, Sable River. Um, I'm not sure the name of this section of the river here, but it's very beautiful. So we're gonna come back here. I came very, very early in the morning and it was way too foggy and <laughs> I guess so uh, there was no way to get anything here the, we were having the same problem that we had last night the lens was covered in seconds with the the mist and there was absolutely no way to uh, to get any image here so i had to put the gear back i attempted to get a few shots here at night couldn't be roll anything either yesterday the fog was literally uh dominating the whole uh scenery I guess I had too much of the mosquito repellent in my face, but I need it because uh, if you look careful, I'm not sure if there is any uh, chance to see them behind me, but they are everywhere and they are just waiting to see how they can get through the mosquito repellent, which is working pretty good right now. Anyway, the fog yesterday was uh, way, way too dominant. It was. Uh, very little chances to get uh, the photography I was hoping. Uh, still foggy, but the fog is supposed to be uh, leaving at some point today. I was supposed to be leaving yesterday as well. It never happened. But at least right now, the mist is gone. Things start to dry out right now. And we're hoping that the forecast this time is a little bit, a little bit more accurate. So we, we can get out of there and, and get some area footage area pictures and and enjoy the area and photograph it the way we were expecting we don't want the sun to come too strong because it's right now what it's past 10 o'clock in the morning i can't believe i came here at four o'clock in the morning after sleeping for three hours and i was frustrated and i couldn't get anything <laughs> um because of the fog the conditions were too uh impossible i believe that my partner is still in bed, <laughs> so I'm gonna see if she's ready to uh, get out. And if she is, then we grab the gear and we get back on the road. Stay tuned.
Anyway, we are relocated now, still here in the south shore of Nova Scotia, but we found this phenomenal, beautiful rock formation in the middle of nowhere, and it's absolutely beautiful. Just see if you can see it in the background. Can you see it in the background? I'm not sure if you can see it in the background, but it's phenomenal. So we're gonna get a couple of shots here. The sun is coming through the fog, and it's creating a perfect condition for that rock formation in the back. It's being beautifully lit up by the sun and kind of uh, partially covered by the fog and it's really beautiful. This uh, grass will be part of the foreground and then we're gonna have the rock formation behind with the fog. And there's more rocks behind now uncovering. I get another shot after that. So stay tuned and here's the shot. Now this is uh, Louis Head, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful white sand beach here in the area. I'm going to do a tiny little panel in the area. And that little human being in the water, that's Marie. So take a quick look. However, as beautiful this place is, and actually we have a really nice cloud formation as well. But if you start looking at the horizon, you're going to see again our lovely and always present friend, the fog. We also have this beautiful seagrass right in front of us and I would love to have that in the foreground. I'm gonna utilize a polarizer because there is a little bit of an extra reflection here that I would love to remove. Uh, the light is getting quite hard and we've been notified of a heat warning condition. So, uh, So we're gonna, we have to move quick. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's midday, the sun is very strong, light is very harsh. So we're gonna try to soften this a little bit with a uh, polarizer and at the same time, I'm going to uh, soften the ripples of the water. So light is very strong, so we really have to use the tank stop this time. So uh, let's go, let's get, uh, oh, also there is, uh, let me see if you can see it here now. Uh, no, now it switched to what I don't want it to switch. There we go. Nice. So it's a little bit of a seagrass also growing along the beach. And I'm gonna tend to get a shot from there as well, utilizing that seagrass over there as, as a foreground, trying to have the seagrass, the white sand, and the beautiful water coming after with that lovely fog coming, rolling in. As a background it's getting it's really really beautiful so i'm gonna go ahead and get uh, get back to the camera here's a shot After this footage, we decided to explore the area only to find more and more thick condensation in the air and uh, the mist was, uh, it created a phenomenal view, but from the ground inside of the, the thick cloud, uh, the lens just get totally uh, covered.
by the condensation and there's no there's no most chances to to photograph uh, we attempted to go in the air and uh, we were hoping to photograph and, and film the foggy cloud rolling over the the beautiful land that we were in it was a non flight on uh, non fly zone so <laughs> the fly was canceled the drone wouldn't even take off and we we didn't want to violate any rules because you can't always tweak it and fly it anyway. But that's that's highly recommended now to do because uh, you want to stick, you want to stick to the rules. So uh, we end up deciding to move a little bit eastern in this uh, South Shore area, and we end up in a beautiful place called Carter Beach. Um, it has an interesting look because once you're there, it's hard to believe you are in this very cold part of the world. Uh, beautiful white sands. It had that tropical look. Beautiful colors everywhere. Now, once you take off, then you realize that the vegetation around and the environment is quite, you know, it's, it's Nova Scotia. But from the ground, it's hard to believe you are in Nova Scotia in the summer until you touch the water. That is painfully cold they were painfully we put the kayak in the water and some some water got into the kayak at that very extremely cold level and i'm telling you 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 go numb <laughs> after a little while but the experience was fantastic we had a great time there and uh, we wanted to finish the footage of this uh, area with a little bit of a more more clear images, so I hope you guys enjoy the footage from Cardiff Beach. It's mostly area footage. Fantastic, beautiful place. Uh, with this, uh, friends, we'll, we'll put an end to the video for this week. I hope you enjoyed this uh, part two. I'll see you next week and uh, take care, stay tuned. Don't forget to like if you enjoy the video. And uh, if you find the content interesting, just don't forget to subscribe. We put a video every week and uh, let's uh, join us on this journey around uh, the beautiful province of Nova Scotia. With this, goodbye.